Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So last day of the week and uh, we, everything to play for, I suppose. We are pretty much stuck, as I was expecting, at the bottom end of what could potentially be the range. And uh, that is the 38.62 area. Now, break below that starts becoming pretty bearish. Uh, if you look at the charts, you can see that's the last line of defense here. Um, probably the 155 on the weekly is, a, is the next option. Uh, that's around 3800. But below that, the next logical area of support is going to be down here at 3682. So um, everything to play for today. Uh, what the bulls are looking for is another pin bar. And the bears are looking for anything between a range bar and a bar that closes on its low. So uh, that's pretty much what uh, what we're looking for today. So it could be pretty volatile. Uh, you know, there could be quite a bit of price action happening around this area that we're in. Or alternatively, you know, the bulls could just give up and this thing could plummet below 38.62. So trend is down on the eight hour pretty clear to see been that way for uh, what we now are. this is the fourth week from when it looked like we we're potentially getting a break so uh, yeah I think let's just get down to the lower time frames and see what we do have so on the three hour nothing much has changed we've got a grouping of the oscillators to the downside as I said yesterday inside bar inside bar here uh, could be a double pot bottom setup but obviously we need to break above the high of this week now the real problem here is this week we have swung uh, basically five and a half percent. So we rallied a bit. If we sort of go like this, we rallied up uh, two point seven percent, and then we have fallen two point eight percent from roughly where we opened. So, oh well, not where we opened, but from the previous week close. At the moment, three hours also trend is down, and this pattern that we're seeing here could turn out to be a a flag, but there is a little inverse head and shoulders in amongst us. So the flag would be just draw your trend lines along along the top there and along there. That would give you the triangle. Let's just do that. Um, and it's going to come from there. You can see just line up all the tails, and that is the the one trend line that we're paying attention to. And then there is the bottom. So that could be a flag triangle. But if we start going down to the lower time frames, you'll see there is uh, a potential inverse head and shoulders here. And let's just put a horizontal support there. So there's your left shoulder, there is your head, and there is your right shoulder there. So that is kind of the structure that we're seeing. So 50-50 call, we could be, you know, break this trend line to the downside, more than likely looking to be either a range or a potential flag for a bigger move down. Just bear in mind that this level here, 38.62, is a big weekly level. So um, it's going to take a lot for it to break through that. Uh, then the other scenario, let's just delete this one. Uh, and the other scenario is a break of this to the upside. So it also um, looks like a flat top triangle if you look at price action at the moment. So this is the level that we need to wait for to the upside although in the hour I don't think I'd be wanting to chase alongs there because more than likely gonna get some kind of aggressive move off here back to the downside which is 39.86 so don't be too surprised if 4000 gets tagged as well big round number we've had a lot of price action around that just move on to the 15 minute and yesterday as I said yesterday you know either Either we're going to be like moving up, rejecting one of these levels and then moving down or just sort of mucking around. And that's exactly what we're doing at the moment is mucking around. So moving over, just coming close together on the 15 minute, just below the 155. So if you're on the 15 minute today, watch for 39.36, a break of that area. You've got the stop below the pattern that it forms um, above this area. And then you're looking for an upside target of 39.86, possibly 4,000. That's probably the, the only um, setup that I can see. 
if we do start breaking the structure to the downside, so in other words, get more rejection here, but the problem I've got is we've already had, let's call that one, uh, two, three, four. So we've had four attempts at this level, possibly a fifth one. So a lot of attempts at the same level, and we keep forming higher lows. So to me, it's more of a, a triangle that's forming an attempt to change or reverse the, the current 15-minute trend, which is down. So that's the structure looking to play for to, to the upside. Uh, any moves to the downside? I'm not sure I want to be trading any breaks here. I'd rather be trading a rejection higher up. Uh, it's going to give me a much better opportunity because it'll accelerate quite quickly, Get allow me to get my stop to entry. Uh, and then if it continues, then we're in. And if it comes back and breaks it to the upside, then you know so be it. But the scenario down here, if you stop trading a break here, uh, the probability of it coming back to test this level is pretty high. If you look at how many times it's been done already yesterday. So, yeah, I think uh, cautious, very cautious is uh, the strategy for today. But I think upside is probably more, there's more opportunities to the upside than there's the downside uh, for today. And uh, 4,000 is definitely a target area at the moment. So that's the way I'm going to be looking at this uh, and possibly even down to the five minute chart when the US opens just to see where we are. Any break below 38.62 then you're looking for a massive weekly um, engulfing red bar and uh, that could be pretty interesting and drive price because then we, we're opening ourselves up to uh, 36.82. Not interested in holding stuff over the weekend though. So um everything to play for at the moment and uh, I'm kind of thinking that what the the bulls are looking for is a weekly pin bar so if we just come back to the weekly just before we close uh, you can see we've had one weekly pin bar so in order to get a weekly pin bar they're going to need to get up into this uh, 4062 area so it's going to take a massive move and we're going to need some big catalyst for that to happen um, and also bear in mind that on the weekly you know, very rare that the bars close on their low if you look at how many times that happens uh, often there's a tail so i would expect either nothing to go on just muck around in those two levels i've given you now or alternatively we're looking to close above that 3986 area which would then test this resistance uh, which give us a sort of a range bar type thing but it would indicate that there are buyers accumulating here as well on the bigger time frames okay but anyway nothing really set in concrete nothing really pretty on this chart uh, could go either way so it could be a flag or it could be a flat top triangle or inverse head and shoulders so the bulls have got a pattern the bears have got a pattern and um, the only thing that the bears have in their favor is that they've got this big move down and this could be just a consolidation flag for another break to the downside whereas uh, the the bulls have got uh, structure forming they've got a potential double bottom forming and they also have a, a market that is looking relatively tired when you start looking at the move to the downside even on the weekly you can see how oscillator is starting to group uh, down on the downside which is typically you look what happens when this does look what happens we start turning and then the other thing is we've got um you know, price this is still a higher this is still a higher low compared to some of these lows here and you start drawing in your your oscillator trend lines here, you see that you have diversions, pretty serious diversions on the weekly. So, yeah, something's about to happen. I don't see this thing falling forever. So uh, patience is key right now. Anyway, that's my uh, outlook for today. Probably still a bit of volatility, so be careful. And uh, we'll catch up with you on Monday. Cheers for now.